All right, I'm doing a quick uh, little thing here uh, for uh, Emma's question. So let's create uh, first our joints. So I'm going to uh, let's go on my front view here and there, make that a little less. So you know, just create a pretend joint here. Okay. Uh, this is kind of my pretend thumb joint. Uh, and as you'll know, I, was, I like my joint small, but we'll make him a little bit bigger here. Okay. So this is my thumb joint. Let's look at my orientation here. Let's say, all right, I, you know, I've rotated it. Uh, oops. Uh, let's go object here. All right, I'm going to rotate it like my thumbs like this, blah, blah, blah. All right, and then I'm going to freeze the transforms, right? So what happens here is these transforms don't go away, right? They go from this rotation down to joint orient. So if you see, these are the values for the joint orient. Okay, so the mistake that I noticed, so let's uh, create NURBS. Uh, circle, scale it up a bit, um, just for, you know, make it, make this look right. Um, I don't know. I always like values of four. I don't know why. Uh, we're going to freeze the transformations, delete the history on this, just for this. Uh, so what I noticed that uh, they're doing uh, that Emma is was doing was what it looked like uh, was so let's put this in gimbal mode so here's the rotation in gimbal mode for the joint um, and then here's for our circle and I think I actually have the wrong axis than what you were doing but I'm not going to worry about that right now um, actually let's worry about it right now let's just go like this right I'm holding down J to snap it rotate 90 freeze transforms okay. So I'm going to select that, select this, and come to what you were doing, modify, match transformations, and let's always just check, okay, translate, rotate scale. Oh, I rotated it the wrong way around. Oh, well, um, here's our, so here it is. So we have this wonky. So if you look at the NURB circle here, here's our rotate, uh, and let's copy that. So I click copy tab, copies this. So here's our circle, here's our rotate values. So if we go to the joint, what you're gonna see is that these rotate values are matching the transforms of the joint orient values, not the, the rotate here. So the joint is technically still rotated here. It's just storing this value here. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. Um, so, uh, let's quickly undo. So the first thing I would say is, right, we were looking at, let's, maybe if I do it this way now, uh, freeze my transforms. Okay. So that comes back. So this is your control, right? Uh, we're going to group it. So this is your control group. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take the control group, not the control, and uh, modify match all transforms. Okay, so now if you look at the group, the group has that wonky control, but the control does not. Right, the control and the joint match up. All right, and the other question was how to do this with offset parent matrix. The tricky thing about offset parent matrix is that it can compound. So when you um, use it, if you use it, especially if you use it a second time, um, it offsets on top of the other offset. So the tricky thing with offset parent matrix is you really want it to uh, either just use it once or somehow take into account the previous offset because it's going to offset from that offset, if that makes sense. So it's very tricky, but let's go ahead and do it. We're going to go here. We're going to do modify match transformations again. 
and right we've got it lined up how we want but obviously this is right and I, um i've seen different ways but this is actually how i like to do it uh because i think this is the cleanest and quickest way so i'm going to come into my control here i'm going to take my world matrix here in the node editor i'm going to plug it into uh, that top thing and click offset parent matrix. So we create a connection. Uh, then what we do is we delete the connection. Now you see this got moved off. Uh, but all we're going to do is now come back and push, uh, make all of these zero, right? And uh, so there we go. Right, our gimbal is correct and if we look at our attributes uh, right we see those things have moved down here to the offset parent matrix uh, all those attributes have and they have zeroed this out so the thing that can happen with offset parent matrix say something happens and you're like oh shoot i've got to re adjust this right so i'm going to move this i got to i had to adjust it or something i'm going to freeze the transforms again i'm going to take this again Go to here, do modify match transforms, right? Um, and my, oh, it's still working. Nope, it's not working, right? Yeah, it's not working. So now these are all wonky again. Um, what if I free, no, if I freeze the transform, okay. So these are all wonky again, right? That's because down here, it's still there, right? That offset. So even if I do this again, if I take world matrix back into offset parent matrix and then delete it, uh, or maybe it didn't do it. All right. oh, I guess it's still the same. So anyway, it's all wonkied out, right? Um, I guess before I do that, what I could do is, is zero all these out. But anyway, it's tricky, and if you have to make a change, offset parent matrix is a problem. So, that's it. That's what I got. I hope that helps.